Okay, so which stocks are we investing in people? The stocks that I currently have are usually around 50% up from when I bought them. And I'm going to continuously be investing into these stocks. Up 50% is actually really good. And that's my overall stocks, like, accumulated. It's not just one of my stocks, it's all of them. Um, first of all, I would just like to say, for all of you who are wondering which stock to invest in now, as you know, like, back in the day before Netflix really got up and popping, it was nothing. And then people who had invested in it made some money. And since then, I'm sure it's gone down, because let's be real, Netflix is not that cool anymore. Occasionally, like, they have some good stuff, but let's be honest, I don't really think that it's one of those stocks that you invest in and that it continuously goes up. It's one of those stocks you invest in, it goes up and down, up and down. And the reason for that is because it depends on what shows and movies they have on there at any given time. Same thing with Disney. Disney goes up and down, but let's be real. Disney is by far wider. Like, they have a lot of different investments that they invest in for their company. They don't just do, like, Disney+. Plus. They're even working with Fortnite now, which, in my opinion, is going to bring in some money. And the thing with that, too, is that Fortnite... Bro, if I could invest in Fortnite, there are so many things that it's been doing lately. And if you don't play, you don't, that doesn't matter, okay? There's so many things they've been doing lately that have skyrocketed the amount of players, the amount of purchases. They've added Lego. Lego is probably making bank off that. I don't think you can purchase Lego stocks, but if I could, I freaking would, thanks to Fortnite. So, as I was saying, you know, Netflix is one of those that goes up and down. And then you have something like Tesla, for example. I highly recommend investing in Tesla. The reason is because everything is slowly going very digitized. Very electronic. The thing with a stock like Tesla is that it's a slowly increasing stock. Because they're still, believe it or not, in the beginning stages of what they're going to be doing in the future like they're tapping into the ai and things like that and tesla usually is up for me it usually is up on any given day but i'm talking about in the future i'm sure you've seen those ads where they're like if you would have invested in elf years ago yeah that's true but now we need to think about what do we invest in now and a lot of people are hiding these places that you can be putting investments into Probably because they want to make money off of you. They want you to be like, take this course. You don't need to take a course. Don't go and pay for that, okay? Just don't do that. You just need to use your brain. Think about what are people buying? What is going to be bought in the future? What are they working on right now that is going to be very popular in the future? The big investments are the ones that end up blowing up. And then you have, like, the short-term investments that go up and down. And the longer you keep your stock, the more value it has over time when you decide to sell it. When you decide, I want to take my money out, you've held that stock for a certain amount of time. Now its value has increased. So I actually do recommend holding your stocks and committing to those long-term stock investments. Like Tesla. Let's be honest. Tesla has come out with a few things, but Elon Musk is one of those people that just isn't going to stop until he achieves something. And then he's just going to keep going until he's dead. And honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if he rose from the grave and kept working. I don't know if he's a Capricorn, but he's giving Capricorn. So anyways, invest in Tesla. Even if you just put it in a little at a time, if you want a place where you can do little investments at a time, for people like me who don't have $1,000 at any given moment to put into a stock, Cash App is great. I know that sounds crazy. Cash App has stocks that you can invest in on there. There are other apps you can use, like Robinhood and things like that. I like Cash App because I can go in there, type up whatever I'm looking for real quick, push even $1 at a time, and invest that. And if you want to see how stocks 
kind of work, you can start by doing a trial and just investing a couple dollars and watch how they go up and down. Watch how your increase in your gains is what, what it's going to say goes up or down. So that way you can kind of get a feel for how stocks work. And then when you start having money to invest, which can literally be any amount at a time because it's cash app, you can go in and keep adding to it. It's really nice. They have a quick search bar. You can search up your stocks. You can look at all your stocks you have. They even have updated news for your stocks. So like it'll tell you how they're doing in news media. So you can, you know, look at what they're posting about that stock and how it's doing in lifetime. So Tesla's one if you're looking for a long-term investment, because with Tesla, what I say by long-term is tomorrow, there's not really a huge chance that you're gonna wake up and be rich from Tesla because the projects they're doing are very intricate and it takes time. And it's also gonna probably be trial and error for a little while, but eventually we might have jets and vehicles. So if you invest a little at a time or even chunks of money at a time, in the future, you'll be making money. I, I want to say I guarantee it, but I don't kill me if something happens. And that was, don't, don't take this down because I said that, please. Like, come on. Like, that's obviously metaphorical. So if you guys are interested in anything else regarding stocks, I'm not a professional. I am also... A single mom who is just trying to make ends meet at the moment but I can at least give you the advice that I've come to for myself since apparently nobody's helping anybody and if you want you can actually go online and look up stocks to invest in and some of the sites actually are very insightful some other ones I'll just mention off the top of my head Google is one of those that usually it doesn't make a huge amount like once again you're probably not going to wake up tomorrow and be rich from google but google microsoft intel things like that they're usually if you look at their overall stock increase um their percentages over time they've continued to go up they're probably going to continue to go up forever amazon as well those are the things where you'll make a little bit of money at a time slowly over time once again, I wouldn't really recommend pulling those stocks if you end up with like a couple dollars here and there. Just leave them because once you pull them, the value is gone for you holding that stock. And realistically, it's a rare occurrence that those stocks skyrocket overnight to a point where you end up with a lot of money. Another thing to keep in mind, they do tax stocks. So if you have stocks, you might be like, oh, I'm going to make this much money. Well, they're going to tax you every year for your stocks so you they say you're lucky if you get 10 percent back so keep that in mind that's why i also say those long-term investments that are going to skyrocket in the future are fantastic because even if they take out percentage you're still going to get a lot back in the future so think ahead think ahead think what is going to skyrocket because those are the ones where you're going to be like oh that's a good investment to make Especially if you're young, don't worry about like, oh my god, when do I pull it? When do I pull it? Just leave it for now. The next thing, buy low. Buy when they're down. What I mean by that is you can go on the stock, for example, Cash Shop, and it'll say if it's down or up. If it's down, the further down, sometimes the better. And I'll get to that in a second. But if you buy low, you have a higher percentage chance for it to go up more. Like if you bought it here, it only goes up this much. But if you buy it down here, it goes up that much. Because regardless, say it's going to go up to here. That's a lot more chance for growth than if you bought it here. Or even up when it's up here. Or if it's super high up and you know it's going to keep going up, you can buy it. Because you know it's going to go up anyway. And if you wait, it might just be up here when you buy it. But if you buy it here, it's going to be... You know what I'm saying? Um... That's when you have to consider what are the chances that this is going to keep going up. If it's going to go back up tomorrow and then go back down, just wait to buy it when, it when it's down. If there's no way it's going back down and it's just going to keep skyrocketing up, just buy it whenever. You kind of got to think statistically, think supply and demand. Let me know if you want any more tips.